for longer, even in difficult conditions, to meet new challenges. It means ready for action. For every once in a lifetime moment, no matter how fast it comes, how unexpected. It means the freedom and flow to tell your story from any vantage point, confident yet unobtrusive. It means capturing more, more than the eye can see, more than the moment lets you fully appreciate. In rich detail with the scope to take it further for astonishing works that inspire. Are you ready to step into new terrain, to face any challenge, big or small, to push your creativity further, to take action? Nikon Z8. Ready, action. When you're looking for your next camera, you're really looking for a better experience. Better image quality, sharper images, more features, more performance, faster, smaller, lighter. You're looking to outfit yourself with a camera that'll give you more creative freedom or perhaps even enable you to grow your skills in areas you've never explored before. And that's why today we're excited to introduce to you the Z8, an extraordinary new camera that brings cutting edge performance to photographers and videographers alike. The Z8 is a camera that can do literally everything. Accuracy, precision, speed, 
I had the power of my Z9 in a smaller body. The new Z8 makes no compromises. Powerful. Magical. Perfect. Cinematic. If I had to sum up this camera in one word, what would it be? Effortless. The Z8 is absolutely essential for me as a wildlife photographer. It was easier to hold for long periods of time. It was easier to get to locations with. I love everything about how it renders skin tones. You can see every single eyelash. With filmmaking, it's fantastic. You can use it on a small gimbal and held. I can actually film 8K raw internally. This camera is hacked with the technology of the Z9 and more. The Z8 totally revolutionized the way that I make my images. It's everything any filmmaker could ask for. The Nikon Z8 is the most phenomenal camera that Nikon has ever launched, and I think it's going to be a huge moment in Nikon's history. The Z8 is the perfect follow-up to the Z9 and a true successor to the D850. The concept behind this hybrid camera is performance, usability, image quality, and handling all in a compact, lightweight form factor. A form factor that'll excite photographers and videographers shooting portraits, weddings, landscapes, indie films, video productions, wildlife, sports, and more. Equipped with Nikon's most powerful image processing engine, most advanced autofocus system, the industry's fastest full-frame electronic shutter, a 45.7 megapixel stacked CMOS sensor, and a blackout-free viewfinder, the Z8 embodies professional performance. That means sharper, crisper images, ultra-high resolutions, fast frame rates, files with extraordinary details and natural colors that make post-production work a dream. All that in a body that is 30% lighter and smaller than the Z9, and even 15% smaller than the D850. And if you shoot video, not only does this camera record an 8K 60p 12-bit RAW, but also 10-bit ProRes 422, all in camera. Or, or the eye tracking is sick. You like these eyes are awesome. <laughs> sick. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's put the riding through there. Change the light balance while I'm Even change the shift. If I decide that I wanted to focus on him, it would on rack him, focus to him. It would rack focus to him, but I want to keep it on her for now. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? Yes, perfect. That's it. Today, we celebrate a story of love, but not just any story. This is your story. Five years ago, we stood together. We made promises and kept them. Life happened and we held them tight. Lucky me, we keep dancing. After all these years, you continue to be the most honest, constant, peaceful and beautiful partner I could ever dreamed of. Carlos. so incredibly happy. I love our life. I love you, Carlos. I love you, Annabelle. Thank you for all the love, 
love, and peace you bring to our life. From five years ago, until now and forever, I still do. I still do. Your hearts are each other's dance partner, so may they continue to beat and dance forever. I look ahead to our future, and I am so excited I get to experience all that life has to offer with you. From tracking and hit rate and subject detection to low light accuracy, the Z8 is equipped with the same powerful autofocusing system as the Z9. Using Nikon's proprietary deep learning algorithms, the autofocusing system continues to evolve, becoming more sophisticated through constant development. Z9 owners will recognize this with the multiple firmware updates available to them, adding entirely new features and improvements. Subject detection is so intelligent that it can identify nine different types of subjects and track them with precision. This ranges from humans, animals, bikes, motorbikes, cars, trains, and now planes. Users of the Z8 don't have to manually push an individual focus point to lock on and compose their subject. Instead, the Z8 will make a focus point bigger or smaller on the subject and even narrow down the point when it detects heads or eyes. The Z8's powerful combination of subject detection and 3D tracking allows you to easily capture fast, erratically moving subjects such as birds, planes, and people, and keeps them in sharp focus. And those working in low light settings or night scenarios will appreciate that the Z8 can detect focus up to negative seven EV. Couple that with starlight view mode and the camera can focus in a jaw-dropping negative nine EV. And well, this creates new opportunities for photographers and videographers who shoot weddings, indoor sports, sunrises, night skies, and epic landscapes. Welcome to my office. Let's go. I'm Mike Mesuel II. I'm a landscape and extreme nature photographer. My passion takes me across the world in search of nature's wildest scenes and most beautiful landscapes. The new Nikon Z8 introduces an opportunity for landscape photographers to fully unleash their creativity, confidently work in difficult situations, and bring their camera into limitless locations. For my job, I need a camera that is versatile, compact, and capable of creating within all elements of nature. The compact size and weight allows me to carry more gear, explore tighter locations, hike to remote places, and even document the world from above. The Z8 features Nikon's incredible five-axis in-body image stabilization, giving me the capability to create tack-sharp images in even the most unstable conditions. As the day fades to night, the Z8 provides endless functionalities for night photography. From illuminated back buttons, digital displays on S-series lenses, dual USB-C ports, and warm tone illumination combined with starlight view, I have no trouble achieving sharp images and perfect compositions for night sky work. While out shooting in nature, having a camera that can withstand the elements is absolutely key. The Z8 continues to carry on the legacy of Nikon's incredible weather ceiling. When it comes to video, the capabilities of the Z8 don't hold back. 
Videographers now have the ability to shoot up to an astounding 60 frames per second in 8K and up to 120 frames per second in 4K, all while taking advantage of Nikon's NRAW and NLOG profiles. Having the ability to see what you're shooting makes all of the difference in a frame, and the Z8's articulating screen allows me to do just so. Having spent my career traversing the world in search of nature's beauty and always having a Nikon camera in my hand, the Z8 continues to provide nothing but the utmost confidence in capturing every moment out there. Oh, yes! This is what it's all about. Traditionally, interchangeable lens cameras will have a mechanical shutter curtain. And the purpose of this curtain is to open to let light hit the sensor and close to keep light out. But with Nikon innovations in image processing and sensor design, we were able to eliminate this mechanical shutter, relying exclusively on an electronic shutter that's built into a full frame stack CMOS sensor with the world's fastest scan rate. What does this mean? Well, virtually no internal moving parts, no wear and tear on the shutter, the ability to shoot up to 1 32 thousandth of a second, and the shutter is absolutely silent. The Z8's 45 megapixel backside illuminated CMOS sensor provides impressive detail even in low light, giving you the flexibility to shoot at higher ISOs when the situation demands. What's also flexible is your output options. Not only do you have the conventional 14-bit RAW and 8-bit JPEG file formats, but also two new additions for people looking to maximize the quality of their images while minimizing the size of their files. First is the 14-bit high-efficiency RAW, which retains the outstanding image quality of traditional RAW at approximately a third the file size. Wedding and event photographers, as well as sports shooters tasked with capturing hundreds or even thousands of shots on the job will benefit from this groundbreaking RAW compression technology. And second is 10-bit Hyfe, a first for Nikon cameras. This file format retains richer tonal gradation than JPEG with increased luminance at a comparable file size. Basically, a broader dynamic range that can be viewed on HLG-compatible TVs and PQ-compatible computer monitors and devices. This is great for all kinds of photography, including landscapes and portraiture. It's also great for making 8K HLG time-lapse videos in camera. To make sure your photos are tack sharp, the Z8's autofocus system is so sophisticated it can track the eyes of people, pets, and birds, even when they're small in the frame. Couple that with the many AF area mode options, and you can designate specific areas in your frame where you want the autofocus to identify your subjects. And the Z8 has some new features for portrait photographers. Portrait Impression Balance gives you simple control over hues and brightness levels to fine-tune skin tones. Skin Softening uses the Z8's intelligent deep learning algorithm to make skin look best while keeping eyes and hair tack sharp. And Improve White Balance gives you more manual control for making subtle adjustments to your baseline color. One of the things that is very important to me while photographing a wedding is the documentary aspect of the storytelling. I'm capturing moments that cannot be scripted. I'm capturing moments that you rarely ever happen ever again. And what I want you to do with your, with your arms, right, that hand, is every so often if you just feel the need to do something. When Nikon asked me to try out the Z8, I was first of all extremely ecstatic. Having come from shooting so many different Nikon cameras, the Z8 brings so many different bits and pieces from every single camera and puts it into this one very small body. So obviously, as an image maker, and particularly these days, you're bombarded with so much in terms of inspiration. Everywhere you're going out, you, you see images everywhere. You, you are reacting to the scenes that you are inspired by. So the technology that is packed inside the Z8 allows you as an image creator to focus purely on the art as opposed to fiddling too much on settings on the camera. The camera does so much for you that it even takes things to another level in terms of creativity. The main two things I look for in a camera are weight 
and speed of use. And I say weight in the sense that it's very important to me that I have something that I can just whoop out to capture a particular scene at any time. The speed of use is really important to me because I don't want to have to think. I'm capturing very, very fast moments. I want a situation where I can just pick up a camera, take a shot and boom. There are two main features that I am very, very much blown away by. The first one is focus. I've never worked with a camera that actually does the focus for you. I can just lift the camera up and it already knows what I want it to focus on. I love the fact that you can flip the screen up and put the camera out. I want to take a picture. I don't have to press the, the viewfinder all the time. I just tap the part of the frame I want in focus and it does all the work for you in terms of finding the focus in that, in the, in that space. One of the great things about the camera is its ability to pick up those essential parts in the scene that will sort of bring the story of the scene into the image. Most of the clients that I work with choose these places because they have some sort of connections to them. And I think sometimes creators sometimes miss the, the beauty of these connections. But if you can kind of capture the scene with a camera that is capable of capturing a whole array of light, um, and also being able to light those scenes in the way that you would like to light them as well, you can always create some really, really great stuff with them. My name is Jide Alakija. I'm the principal photographer of Alakija Studios, and I am a proud Nikon ambassador. Conventional mirrorless systems capturing 10 or 12-bit video often require the addition of large external devices which in turn require their own power, storage media, cords, and rigs to attach. But not the Z8. The Z8 gives you the flexibility to shoot gorgeous full-frame 8K footage up to 60p and 4K footage up to 120p slow motion in camera, meaning no external device. This camera is built to be agile, allowing videographers to work more efficiently with a smaller setup and saves time and money. How so? With internal recording codecs that include 10-bit ProRes 422HQ, 12-bit 8K NRAW, 12-bit 4K ProRes RAW HQ, and H.265, the Z8 eliminates the need for an external recording device and all the cables and rigging required to piece it all together. Instead, the Z8 records directly to the card slots built into the camera. Now you can hold the camera and move around more comfortably and smoothly, giving you the advantage of a lighter camera system when shooting handheld or on a gimbal with fewer cables and less setup time. The processing power of the Z8's Xspeed 7 engine is what makes this all possible. Xspeed 7 is 10 times faster than its predecessor and unleashes the potential for more compelling video making. From extreme resolutions without cropping to long continuous recording times in 8 and 4K, as well as fast, accurate focusing. Speaking of focusing, the Z8's face and eye detection is so good, it can detect and track eyes even with sunglasses on. And it's so accurate that it can detect faces that take up as little as 3% of the frame's longest side. This is especially useful when capturing environmental scenes with people. For example, when you want to keep a wedding couple in sharp focus within an expansive landscape. But even more impressive, it also means that videographers can lock in on a person approaching from a distance, keeping the focus on the subject running toward the camera. And just like when shooting photos, subject detection, which can identify and lock focus on humans, birds, pets, vehicles, and more, works in combination with a variety of focus area modes, including subject tracking, so you can be super confident that you're getting the most important part of the shot in sharp focus. Focus area modes are a big important part of the Z8's autofocus system, especially for video. Whether you're isolating a subject that you want to keep in focus, or you're getting creative with focus pulls, there are many variety of focus area options, including the ability to customize your own focus area space, giving you maximum freedom to compose shots any way you'd like. 
The Z8 is loaded with essential tools built into the camera specifically for the videographer. And these include a waveform monitor and zebra stripes for checking exposure. Focus peaking for confirming sharpness when manual focusing. Linear focus for consistency when rotating the focus ring. Custom AF speed and tracking settings. Fine ISO adjustments. Time code linking to an Atomos UltraSync Blue device. Raw proxy files for easier post-production and more. And rest assured, you'll always know when you're rolling because the LCD will show a red border anytime you're recording. And just a note for those of you who may be more familiar with manual focusing on non-Nikon video systems, the Z8 gives you the option to customize the direction of rotation of the focusing ring on the lenses as well as all the wheels on the camera. There are so many great features built into the Z8's video systems, it's impossible to mention them all here. The combination of power, performance, and compactness opens the door to so many great opportunities for videographers and hybrid shooters. Dixon. I'm a commercial fashion advertising photographer, film director, and Nikon ambassador based out of Dallas, Texas. When I picked up the Z8 from using the Z9 for about a year and a half, it was a seamless process. Everything was the same, the buttons were the same, and I think that really allowed me to just go in and create what I needed to. It's very challenging when you're having to shoot both stills and video in the same production, but I found that the Z8 really makes it pretty seamless. It's definitely a challenge mentally because you gotta think about moving images as opposed to just still images. It's a challenge that I'm definitely up for. Having a hybrid type of camera for this type of production is, it's everything. It's of most importance because when you're having to shoot stills and go from stills to immediately shooting video, uh, this camera allows you to do so seamlessly. The body style, the ergonomics of this camera, smaller body style is really nice for video because you can throw it on a gimbal and get to work really quickly. And I really love the fact that you can also take high resolution stills from the actual video footage and they look exceptional. For this production, the Z8 was a game changer. I loved every minute of creating with this camera. Having a camera with a sensor that achieves the world's fastest scanning speed and a processor that's just pure power opens up so many doors when it comes to high speed and fast action shooting. Following in the footsteps of the Z9, the Z8 carries over all of the features that sports, action, and wildlife photographers crave, from ultra-fast frame rates to precision autofocusing and a blackout-free viewfinder. While raw images can be taken at 20 frames per second for more than 1,000 frames per burst, JPEGs can be taken at unheard of frame rates from 20, 30, 60, all the way up to 120 still frames per second. 
This means that your odds of landing the decisive shot are much, much greater, whether it's a bird in flight or a peak action moment at a sporting event. And to take things even further, the Z8 has a pre-release capture mode that starts shooting a full second in advance of fully pressing the shutter release button, making those decisive moments even easier to catch at 120 frames per second. So while you're tracking the subject, you want to photograph the camera is temporarily storing photos in the buffer, just in case you weren't quick enough to press the shutter release button when the action actually happens. The Z8 is also incredibly reliable handheld. It's equipped with a five-axis image stabilization system that keeps things sharp. Coupled with select Z-series lenses with optical VR built in, the Z8's Synchro VR feature will activate, achieving an effect equivalent to six stops of image stabilization. And to ensure you're keeping an eye on the peak action, the Z8's truly blackout-free real-live viewfinder gives you a what-you-see-is-what-you-get experience with no skipped frames or loss of view during fast, continuous burst shooting. Imagine the advantage you now have when panning and following erratically moving subjects. Good hit, Seneca! The Z8 is awesome. The autofocus is tracking perfectly. That's insane. I love the versatility of this camera. The size of this makes it so easy to maneuver. I'm able to use a super wide angle lens all the way up to a 400 millimeter on a monopod and it works great. What I'm finding is the Z8 really is a hybrid camera that makes no compromises. The compact form factor makes it perfect to use in the studio, especially in situations just like this. We can get right up into her eye and see the outline of every single one of her lashes. And the other thing that's impressive is how the skin tones hold and like no highlights are blown out. This camera really is a jack of all trades. The shots at 45 megapixels as still and then a flick of a switch and I'm able to shoot video capturing 4K at 120. For someone like me who's not a video expert, having all of this really makes this a hybrid camera that someone like me can use. Today we're on set making a short film with a small crew and two incredible athletes as our talent. We've got a full day, we're shooting day to night, really testing the limits of the Z8 as a video camera. Shooting in various frame rates, in different locations, and multiple lighting situations, all with different color temperatures. It has been incredible. You got it, that's a wrap. This is a cutting edge camera, but what's a camera without the backing of a strong lens system? Today, the Z platform has dozens of optically advanced lenses, including 2.8 zooms, f1.2 primes, super telephotos, macros, compact lenses, and more. The quality and performance of these lenses truly come to life when paired with the extraordinary sensor and image processing engine of the Z8. From Nikon's widest lens at 14 millimeters to the longest at 800 millimeters, technically 1600 when you add a teleconverter, the ever-growing lineup of sophisticated, optically superior Nikkor Z lenses offers clear and tack-sharp rendering performance, even at maximum apertures. Z-series cameras are built with the largest full-frame mount in the industry, along with the shortest flange distance. The advantage? Nikkor Z lenses can gather substantially more light, perform at greater resolutions, and remain sharp to the edges of the frame, all while suppressing distortion. Image aberrations are more likely to occur with lenses on smaller mounts that require light to travel through a smaller space to reach the sensor. At the pinnacle of the Nikkor Z offering is the S line, Nikon's most advanced optics from resolution to performance to build quality. These include remarkable primes for portraits and video work, like the 85mm f1.2 and 1.8. Super telephotos for nature and sports, like the 400mm 2.8 and 600mm f4, both with built-in teleconverters. And the essential trio of 2.8 lenses that cover a wide variety of applications. These, as well as all other S-Line lenses, produce images with beautiful bokeh and sharp point light reproduction with virtually no focus breathing. 
And if you're using these lenses to shoot videos, you'll be happy to know that the autofocus motors are silent and white color reproduction is consistent from lens to lens, making post-production more efficient when using multiple Nikkor Z lenses. Now, if you're looking to switch to Z-series mirrorless for the first time, and you currently own Nikkor glass for your DSLR, Nikon offers an adapter called the FTZ2, which will allow you to connect any one of approximately 360 Nikon F-mount lenses to the Z8. There's no downgrade in image quality either, as the adapter is only there to recreate the distance between the sensor and the rear element of your lens. In fact, all of your lenses will work with the image stabilization system built into the camera, regardless of whether or not the lens has any. The adapter also has built-in contact points so that your lenses will communicate autofocus and exposure information back and forth with the camera. Finally, on the topic of optics, you may be wondering, since there's no mechanical shutter, what protects the sensor when changing lenses? Well, the Z8 like the Z9 has a sensor shield, which can be programmed to deploy when the camera is turned off so that you can remove a lens safely while out in the elements. When photography or videography is your livelihood or a serious passion, you want to make sure that your camera is as ergonomic and tough as it is powerful. Rest assured, build quality is at the core of Nikon craftsmanship. The Z8's compact yet robust body, along with the included ENEL 15 series rechargeable lithium ion battery, has been designed to work in freezing weather, rugged environments, and other extreme conditions. The front cover of the Z8's body is made from magnesium alloy to secure the image sensor with high precision and to allow heat dissipation. It also ensures mount rigidity when using super telephoto lenses. The back and top covers are made of a Cerebo P-series material new from Teijin, a world-renowned Japanese manufacturer. Comparable to the strength of magnesium alloy, this lightweight material provides high impact resistance for the entire camera while reducing weight. Weather sealing is applied across the entire system, protecting the camera while working in harsh environments where dust and drip resistance is so important. And to protect the image sensor while traveling, the Z8 comes equipped with a VR lock mechanism that holds the sensor securely in place when powered off. This prevents the sensor from being jostled or becoming misaligned. Designed with the ergonomics Nikon is known for, the Z8 is easy to operate with a deep, comfortable grip and buttons and dials intuitively laid out 
to allow for easy all-day operation. When you need more battery power, consider adding the MBN12 battery grip. It also allows for more comfortable vertical shooting. The batteries inside this grip are hot swappable, so you'll never need to interrupt recording when a battery needs to be replaced. At the back of the camera is the four axis vertical and horizontal tilting LCD. It gives you the freedom to work from a variety of angles that would otherwise be difficult to monitor. And when you're shooting vertically, all the menus and display information also appears vertically. Redundancy is a must for professional work and is a safety net for when scenarios can't repeat themselves. That's why the Z8 includes two card slots, a high performance CF Express Type B slot, the industry leading format for quickly writing heavy data to the card like long continuous bursts and ultra high resolution 8K video, and an SD card slot which accepts more universally available cards and balances write speed with the cost of memory. The Z8 is also equipped with a variety of other pro focused features like illuminated buttons, a full sized HDMI port, and dual USB-C ports, one for constant power delivery and the other for communication with external devices like the MCN10 remote grip. There's also built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for wirelessly transferring images or tethering, a 10-pin accessory port, a dedicated focus mode button, two programmable function buttons at the front of the camera, and a third programmable function button at the back. With the use of a third-party USB-C to Ethernet adapter, the entire network menu built into the Z8 will be unlocked, including an FTP protocol that can be used in conjunction with Nikon's NX Field Multicam solutions. The Z8 offers a whole new experience for photographers and videographers who need powerful performance and a professional feature set in a camera that's compact and lightweight. With the same revolutionary sensor and image processing engine as the Z9, Nikon's most sophisticated autofocusing system developed through deep learning and the most extraordinary image quality in details and resolution, the Z8 is built for you to create with confidence and agility. Compact form factor, lightning fast burst speeds, pro build quality, compatibility with class leading optics and internal storage media. This is what it means to be the ultimate hybrid camera. This is what it means to experience Nikon performance at its best. We hope you enjoyed this first look at the new Nikon Z8. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to continue seeing more content like this. And for an insider peek at the Z8 in action, stick around for a special behind the scenes look from Nikon ambassador, filmmaker, and photographer, Jerry Guionis, which starts right now. Hi, I'm Jerry Guionis, Nikon ambassador, portrait, fashion, wedding photographer, and filmmaker. And I'm so proud to be one of the first people in the world to photograph and film with the Nikon Z8. My experience with the Z9 translated perfectly with the Z8. Literally after a couple of minutes, I forgot that I was photographing with a brand new camera. Nikon's legendary ergonomics were just perfect. It fit right in my hand and the files that come out of this camera, be it video or stills, are exquisite. Having menu items in the same place, having buttons in the same place was really important to me. If you're a photographer and then you flick that switch and now you can record motion, I don't feel like that filmmaking capability is actually an afterthought. If I was a filmmaker and decided to actually flick that switch and photograph stills, I don't feel like there's any compromise at all. They're independently incredible and work beautifully in tandem. The fact that we have Nikon's legendary optics is incredible. The 85mm f1.2, it is exquisite. There's a certain quality that goes with that f1.2 lens. That gorgeous shallow depth, it's perfect for filmmaking because you usually want to shoot with a shallow depth of field. 
but that shallow depth of the field suits my style of photography perfectly. Also, the 50mm f1.2 works seamlessly and perfectly with the Nikon Z8, shooting with a macro lens, a 70-200mm lens, and what I believe is one of the most underrated lenses in the Nikon S-Series lens lineup is a 24-120 f4. I've been photographing for a very long time, and I still experience so much joy with every shoot that I do. So when Nikon comes to you and says, hey, here's a brand new camera, go play, now we're off. I want to put this camera through its paces and test its limits. Will it keep up with my creativity? Will it keep up with everything that I want to produce? If I'm going to photograph with a brand new camera, the Z8, I'm going to have to push the camera to its limits and photograph the different genres that I do so I know with confidence that when I speak to people that this is exactly what the camera can do. Are we going to get beautiful colour? Are we going to get beautiful results in camera? Is the eye focus going to keep up? Are we going to have a beautiful dynamic range? Are we going to have gorgeous files out of camera? Now, first of all, I've got to tell you about my short film. Now, the complexity of producing a film, well, where do you begin? What story are you going to tell? As Melissa and I were reminiscing about our incredible relationship and our journey so far, I thought, how cool would it be to tell the story about a couple's life together and all the milestones that come with it? So, falling in love, getting together, having a dog, quiet moments at home, getting married. We throw confetti on the bride and groom as they come out of their ceremony. Having a baby. The child grows up, goes to school, graduates. All these different things gave me a perfect opportunity to test the capabilities of the camera. This story is a reflection of the love that I have for Melissa and the love that Melissa has for me. Now we don't have children, we do have fur babies, and I'm very excited that Zoe, one of my fur babies, is featured in this short film. And one of my favorite shots of the whole shoot is Zoe running into the camera, and we're shooting at f1.2 at 4K, 120 frames a second. Lisa and Dylan are great friends of ours, I've actually photographed their wedding, and we use them as models for this story. When you think of a romantic night, you often think of candlelight, or being by a campfire. Now we have a fire pit at home, so we thought, let's turn the fire pit on. Let's have them in a quiet moment next to the fire pit with a beautiful glow of light on them. A quiet moment, nice and romantic. Because we have the power of the Z9 in a smaller body, that beautiful form factor of the Z8, with filmmaking, it's fantastic. You can use it on a small gimbal, on a small form factor slider. You can use it handheld. It's one of those cameras that's the perfect hybrid between photography and filmmaking. The fact that I can actually film in 8K RAW internally up to 60 frames a second is unheard of. You'd normally use a monitor recorder or a separate device to do that. We actually shot the whole film 12-bit and RAW. What does that mean? I'm photographing RAW video. I have flexibility with my color, my exposure, using the whole dynamic range to bring out the best in the incredible files that already exist. I was reviewing some of the footage and I'm like, did we photograph in normal standard mode? The colors that came straight out of the camera were exquisite. Now the fact that we have raw files that we can play with and bring out the best in them with our color gamut and all those different things is incredible. Whenever you want to flick that switch and decide to actually go from filmmaking to photography, it's so simple and so effective and so easy to do. I've fallen in love with photographing performers. Living here in Las Vegas, I'm surrounded by some of the best talent in the world. And what I've learned with performers is nothing is impossible. I'd say, well, can you sit on the ground and bring your legs up and just hold your body weight? Yeah, no problem. Can you handstand and lift your legs up and do the splits while you're doing handstands and hold the body weight of another woman while she's up in the air? Sure, no problem. And the camera held up beautifully. So I wanted to ease into this shoot of this really cool couple. I photographed them as individuals and as a couple. We used strobe, we used natural light, we actually did these beautiful vintage portraits and I loved it. The files that come out of the Nikon camera system are very predictably amazing. So why not test the color and what I can get out of this camera with something really beautiful. So what do you do? Well, <laughs> you paint someone's face with different colors the palette of what would actually appear in a peacock feather and surround her face and get every one of the entire crew to frame her face with it and of course you photograph it. And the results were stunning. Having the ability to shoot raw at 45.7 megapixels in camera in this small form factor 
gives us so much dynamic range and beautiful rich colour. So when Nikon approaches you to photograph a campaign, especially for the Nikon Z8, what do you do? Well, you feature a lot of yellow. So we had Ariana in this gorgeous yellow dress in front of this vintage canvas background and the shots were beautiful. The, that yellow dress with that vintage background against a gorgeous skin tone was so much fun to photograph. And if you're looking for beautiful bokeh and beautiful fall off, get your hands on a Nikon Knot 0.95 aperture. Photographing on a small little plane of focus, photographing both her eyelashes perfect looking down was one of my favorite shots of the day. I was photographing in my studio and I covered up my entire garage door with a soft diffusion, giving us this beautiful broad big light. We changed Ariana's clothes into a very cool futuristic bodysuit with these glasses and took these very high fashion portraits of her and the camera didn't let me down. I asked Ariana to bring some of her dresses and she went out of her way to get this gorgeous red gown and she was absolutely as breathtaking as she was in those other looks as well. For the finale of my photography shoot with Ariana, I wanted to finish off with something very dramatic. So we found this beautiful hat, we cut out circles around the hat, and now I'm gonna backlight her with these strong beams of light, get some smoke sort of blowing all in and out through the holes. I was so excited about these photographs. And then I'm like, you know what would be really nice right now is motion. All I had to do was flick that switch to video and press record. Now I have this perfect introduction for a video piece. I have a perfect piece for social media. It was an incredible finale for an incredible week. After doing this for three decades, my hunger to create is still as strong as it has ever been. The fact that I now have a tool that is so sophisticated to help me produce these results, I love to surprise my audience. I love it when people look at my work and say, that's not your work, that's not you. That's just me being an artist. I want to reinvent myself. The same way that Nikon reinvents their cameras, they're keeping up with what I want to do and what I want to achieve. No matter how sophisticated the camera, it takes an artist to bring out the best in it. But you never want the camera system to fall short and be an excuse for bad performance. I've always said the camera is a tool and you make the difference. I never want a camera to be my excuse for bad performance. I have an incredible camera in the Z8 with incredible eye focus, with Zoe running into my camera and focusing at f1.2 at 20 frames a second in RAW, I can have Zoe jumping in the pool and splashing water on my camera. Don't recommend that, don't try it. And still not a problem. We had the camera two inches from the fire and it was still fine. We had it in the cold, high frame rates in the sun. We were shooting 8K at times, never missed a beat. Simply having a built-in sensor shield I can't tell you how much that's changed my life. I can take my lens off. I don't have to worry about dust getting on the sensor. That sensor shield is a game changer. The MCN10 grip is incredible for filmmaking because you can pop it on your arm of your tripod. You can access all the buttons that you need at your fingertips. With a Nikon Z8, it gives me so many capabilities that I can actually get to my result quicker, in a more fun way, more efficient way. In a few months, I'm turning 50 years old. After a week of photographing and filmmaking with the Z8, it was everything that I hoped for. And the overarching theme to my photography and short film this week is that a life well lived all starts with a moment. And those moments were captured with the Nikon Z8. Ready, action.